one of the states with a very active presence over here at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland in 2022 is the Tamil Nadu government. Davos is a great opportunity for various Indian state governments to talk to potential investors and also get a sense of where the global economy is going. It is very much an opportunity to showcase individual states and of course our country as well. We have a wonderful small panel uh, with us uh, over here. Uh, we've got startups from Tamil Nadu. All of them have, been, have come over here. They'll be talking to us. But we've also got the Industries Minister Hello. Uh, of Tamil Nadu uh, with us as well. Thank you, sir, very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you I think what's very interesting about the Tamil Nadu story is the range that you offer uh, from, you know, I mean, ha from handcrafts right up to the top end of heavy manufacturing. So what, therefore, is the essential message that you're sending over here in Davos? See, uh, Tamil Nadu is uh, the large, one of the largest uh, economy in the country, in right. fact. As you have rightly told that our presence in manufacturing dates back to many uh, centuries, in fact. Mm -hmm. So we have got our own inherent strengths, mm -hmm. right, from manufacturing of uh, engineering materials to apparels to leather industry. And Tamil Nadu, especially in textiles, have got a very strong uh, presence. Right. And traditionally also, mm -hmm. our uh, trade connections right. with the West right. actually dates back to uh, some 2000 years yeah. back. We have got very st uh, strong trade uh, connections with the West as well as with the right. East. Right. So if you take Tamil Nadu in that sense, uh, there is always, uh, we have our thriving force for uh, the industrialization of the uh, state. Right. So that still continues. Mm -hmm. And our range of interests, it actually varies from uh, the handicrafts, as you mentioned, right up to the iron manufacturing, which is in uh, tandem with the yeah. recent tense. Yeah. And we are now interested in the emerging technologies right. also. We are not restricted only with respect to our own strength or with the traditional uh, strengths. Right. We have now uh, started showing interest in other uh, uh, areas so also, which is now uh, the sunrise sectors, right. which are of interest to us now. Green technology is something that uh, you are very actively involved in. Uh, the auto sector in Tamil Nadu is huge. It, it's sort of defined in Tamil Nadu perhaps more than any other state uh, in the country. But green technology in the auto sector is also something which uh, I know is coming into Tamil Nadu. Yeah. How is that something that you are looking forward to and are promoting? We have identified this uh, green energy sector as an us for our uh, major uh, sector of our interest. So what we have thought, we are now in the process of uh, inviting in investors. As right. you know, uh, Tamil Nadu has got a very strategic advantages over others. Yeah. As far as wind energy is concerned, yeah. Tamil Nadu coast is now considered yeah. to be one of the yeah. potential yeah. sources for uh, wind yeah. energy. Yeah. The other source being the North Sea. Right. Uh, the, if you take the rest of the world, yeah. and Tamil Nadu is the second right. uh, most sought out of uh, place for right. wind energy. And as far as solar energy is also concerned, oh, yeah. yes, we have a very strong presence. And our um, um, presence, if right. you take, in the national level, it is the uh, second largest. We are the, uh, I mean, we contribute a lot to the right. national grid. And uh, this is uh, one of our areas of uh, major interest. Right. And we, 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 now, we now look forward to other opportunities sure. to make it uh, further strength. Right. Well, we've got uh, some startups over here from Tamil Nadu. What brings you over here? Uh, you know, I mean, what is the essential message? Sure. Uh, we're really uh, happy to be representing the phenomenal growth of you know, Tamil Nadu tech startup uh, space here. Yeah. I run an artificial intelligence and satellite remote sensing company that promotes sustainability in aquaculture. So we are working with uh, uh, farmers, 60,000 odd farmers and improving their productivity as well as market linkages uh, in aquaculture space. So in the advent, advent of new technologies like artificial intelligence, it is important that like, we need to be like, nurturing startups uh, so that they would be able to solve several challenges. Uh, um, and opportunities, I would say, uh, in this, in in the you know space. What about you? What is the, your specialization uh, as a startup? So we are Impactry. We are a data tech and analytical yeah. firm in the social sector. We largely work towards building an SAP for the development yeah. sector, and there we are working with about 700,000 beneficiaries. We are a for-profit country across 10 states, mm -hmm. and that's why we, in fact, have expanded our presence now in Tamil Nadu. Right. With the main reason because we understand Tamil Nadu is becoming a key ecosystem play on the SaaS 
startup. Mm. So we hope it's you imagine and what we plan to do yeah. is actually build it into the next SaaS capital of the world. Right. And that's where we are seeing it because Tamil Nadu offers you very good technology manpower, it gives you the resources right. and most of the VCs who are based in Tamil Nadu, they right. actually have deep connects in Silicon Valley. Sure. So we are able to get that whole foothold in expanding globally out of Tamil Nadu and that's what we are really looking at building. I'll come to both of you in a moment but do you have any question for the minister? Anything that you'd like him to do or <laughs> any comment at all? So any I of would you? definitely think that with our, we would have to have more ecosystems and I think that was a great starting point where startups can work and plug into the government. Yeah. Because what we do for example in India, in Davos we've been requested by other governments also to see whether we can expand our offering to their countries and I think that's where we can work. Like we work yeah. with Maharashtra government and the US State Department to work sure. at women So let's see networks. what the Tamil Nadu... So yeah, yeah, we are, we, are, we are most welcome uh, in the sense that is why the government of Tamil Nadu, we would like to provide more assistance for startups, yes. especially for the... We want to make uh, Chennai as the source capital, as you have rightly pointed out. So in this connection, if you should you need any assistance from government of Tamil Nadu, we would be delighted to give it immediately. And to this effect, we have also formed uh, Tamil Nadu tea and startup TN, you know, that's a company, a separate um, uh, SPV is now formed right. and we have now designated a separate uh, CEO for that. So, which means uh, that uh, the Tamil Nadu government has now a keen interest in developing uh, startup companies and we, we would like to provide you with the startup ecosystem that will be uh, mutually beneficial to you as well as to the industry. Right.